In this video I'm going to show you uh, a proxy on blocker um, technique that um, is quite commonly used on the internet. Um, now I don't know if you've ever experienced it, I'm sure you have. Um, that is going to a website or a YouTube video or something and you click to get access uh, and you just get blocked. Um, the reason in the vast majority of these uh, these circumstances is that um, the website or the uh, the website you're accessing has looked up the location of your IP address. This is your external IP address, the one you get from your um, ISP. It's looked up the location and then decided whether you can see or you can't see this content. It happens a lot on things like YouTube. Um, for instance, if I go to a website called Hulu, which is uh, just just for an example, is a um, US media site that's very good, um, and I try and click play, the website looks up my IP address and says blah 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 uh, can only be streamed with the within the United States. I can go to um, lots of different sites like this in America. I'll get um, blocked by them all. Um, here's Pandora, it's a brilliant um, radio sort of jukebox online thing. Um, this one uh, also looks up my IP address. You can say it says you are in the United Kingdom, which I am, and um, then you are, you're not allowed to access it. Okay. Um, it's a bit of a pain. Um, it's worse because nearly all the best media sites operate this. So if you're in America, for instance, you can't see the BBC iPlayer or any of the UK TV channels, Canadian channels, Australian, European. Uh, you're restricted to what's in your country. Kind of defeats the object of the internet in my uh, book. But anyway, we'll show you this proxy unblocker technique. Um, you can use free proxies if you want. Um, you need a lot of time and um, effort to get them and be very careful with them because uh, they're quite dangerous to use because um, many are uh, uh, used to sort of install viruses and um, steal personal data and stuff like that. So if you do use them, be very careful. Uh, I'm going to use a tool that I've been using for years, which um, just gives me access to um, lots of very fast proxies and a, a neat way to um, access them. Right, I'm going to close this down. I'm going to show you my program. It's called Identity Cloaker. It's a security program that I've been using for years. Um, I use it when I'm traveling to, so I can check my email and bank statements and stuff like that when I'm using those, you know... Um, free Wi-Fi and cafes, airports and stuff like that. It's quite dangerous to do it if you don't um, protect your connection. This is set up like uh, encrypts your connection so that you can access it. But the other reason you, you can use it is to access block sites. Okay, so you can see here, hopefully, that there's loads of sites here. Uh, these are all specific servers with different IP addresses. They're all proxies, uh, VPN servers, which you can use. Um, what I'm going to do just for demonstration is select one of the US ones. It's US 4. It's in New Jersey uh, by New York, I believe. Uh, I'm going to connect to it. Um, right. Connecting to an American. So what basically now all my information is routed through this very fast US server. And hence, I've effectively got a US IP address now. So if I start my browser again, um, and I go back to Hulu, um, remember before I couldn't access this site at all because I got blocked. Let me just try the same video and see if I use a proxy on blocker whether I can access it. Uh, just click on this. I think this was the one I tried. And um, this time you can see that the video plays. Um, before I got the message saying, sorry, you seem, you're seem you not in the US, therefore you can't see it. Um, now, there's no problem. Uh, Pandora uh, should work as well. You remember before I got a um, little message saying I can't access it. This time it will go in. You can see it's going in. I'll stop it before it goes into my account. Um, uh, but, but you see basically it's going into there and I can use that as I could if I was in America um, it works perfectly well because all these sites now think I'm US based okay 
The other good side is they can't see me. My location is completely and utterly hidden. So there's no record of my visit. So um, there's no problem with that at all. Um, literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people use stuff like this now. Um, I, I, Identity Cloaker is one of the first ones out. Um, I use it because they're all fast servers, so I can switch to different locations. I know they're very secure. I know they're not being run by some geeky kid in his uh, back bedroom. There's a proper company set up with server support teams and stuff like that, which I kind of like because um, I do a lot of stuff online and I like to know I can use it safely. Um, they're all fast so you can stream video on them and you can watch uh, programs without any problem. Okay, well, this is my video on Proxium blockers. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's made some kind of sense. Um, there's a voucher you'll see on the screen here. If you do want to try Identity Cloaker, there's 15% off with this. Um, it's not, there is also a trial version you can try which costs a few dollars. Um, for 10 days it doesn't renew automatically or anything like that so you can test it out um, it's a great program it's recommended um, thank you for listening goodbye